something let us talk about a research paper topic uh, we have a hamilton circuit and that circuit is made up of nodes so we can have two nodes as shown here or we can have four nodes as shown here and or we can have more nodes and make different drawings so this 3 3d drawing can be reduced to a 2d drawing now what a hamiltonian cycle is you start from one node and reach the other node so you start from 0 you reach 1 that is one path you start from 1 reach 0 that is another path so two paths having uh, two nodes so uh, here we start from 0 0 top left node and we can insert reach other nodes just visiting them once and uh, come back to the first point that will be our one hamilton circuit one hamilton cycle so we start from 0 0 and traverse down in clockwise direction so we get 0 0 then we go to 0 1 1 1 then 1 0 and then back to 0 0 this is one hamilton cycle circuit then we can go from this route again that too can happen or we start from here we can go here or we can go from here and reach back so reaching each node just once visiting once and reaching back to the starting point is a hamiltonian circuit so if we count from all nodes we have got eight total hamiltons and if we go for this tesseract and uh, get it uh, get it easier get it on to let, let us count on a tesseract so from first node we have three different directions one here uh, where are we starting from yes we are starting from here we go right we can go down we can go back so there are three three ways we can start with three, three routes to start with then there will be two routes after we reach the second node then there will be two routes and uh, we can calculate this down to total 96 Hamiltonians and so this increases exponentially and uh, on the web page of online integer sequences encyclopedia it is tabulated a riddle let us discuss a riddle in this riddle you have to reach you have to reach each house with one line of water electric and gas and you don't need to overlap so this is a good riddle you can find it online uh, without uh, overlapping you have to supply all uh, facilities to each home and uh, there is one more Euler's path and uh, in this uh, if we have a rope there are two open ends and we call them odd ends if we make a loop still two open ends odd nodes and there are four paths then this node is even because there are four paths entering exiting if we make more twists still these two will be odd and these all these nodes other nodes will be having even paths so let us draw one drawing and then if we count the number of odd paths and even paths we can tell that if we can draw that figure without lifting or uh, we need to lift the pen so that was also a part of puzzle